Hey there folks and welcome to the video, this one's going to be a review for, uh, well, it's a reaction to the second day of Rally Faf in the European Rally Championship. It's just ended, well, it's just ended for the people up at the top of it. Neil Solon has taken a win by uh, 56 seconds from Armindo Arroja, who took second place from Jorg Limay on the final stage of the event. Then am I within a minute of Solon's at the end of it, which that's quite interesting to see because, well... If we think about yesterday, no, it was about half the rally, but Solon's had a lead of nearly two minutes. Of course, he was taking a lot more cautious today. Arrojo was going uh, cautious to the wind in comparison because, well, he already had the win in the Portuguese Championship, so it's now about maximising the points in the European one. I mean, we saw Magalhaes decide to take a penalty to change the damper because, well, bit of a no-man's land. Still P6, though. But what's interesting is thinking about some of the more standout performances in the rally. Like, Solon's on the Saturday was fantastic. But Javier Pardo, with the stage wins today, some of his first at this level in the ERC, was able to get through to fourth, especially um, helped afterwards by the demise of Tempestini. But the pace was already there anyways. Padistoli coming across the line in fifth place. Fantastic finish for somebody who's... Uh, more known for historics. Sesk's coming across the line with 7th place in what's the ERC Open category. Also known as Fabia R4 or the Rally 2 kit car. But I think what we need to talk about as well is I had a look at the power stage. And I don't know if this is actually what is true. But Kenton's showing up as 14 seconds quicker than Erosio. So we'll have to see what he's done there. Because it's hard to understand how you could have found that much time. But either way, I've really enjoyed this production, and though they have to wrap up because, well, broadcast ends at a certain time, they can't show all of the things to do with, like, the manufacturer standings. The way they've explained it, and the point system, because it is different to the WRC itself, is really good. And I've really enjoyed watching it. It's been brilliant to have more rallying action, and WRC Pro has done a good job with this. The only thing that I ask is that they include World RX and European RX in on the WRC Plus bundle. That would be absolutely fantastic. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.